And we got a flashback to what unfolded earlier in the week, and this was an unfortunate series of events led to the disqualification of Nasa Hataoka. You check this out in her first round on Friday. This was her approach to the par 5 ninth. That was her final hole of the day in the deep grass. The search committee was out trying to find her ball. They ultimately did, but remember, you're only allowed three minutes to search for your ball. Nasa Hataoka, once they found it, took an unplayable. She had a rules official who had helped her with the drop, but once the three minutes had elapsed, she should have gone and just replayed from the original spot, Johnson. It's a, it's a tough situation, and three minutes in this sort of scenario goes by really quick. So she had signed for a six under 65, which was an incorrect scorecard. Here was the LPGA statement after viewing video footage provided to the LPGA following the round. It was determined the search for Nasa's ball lasted longer than three minutes. Um, player must proceed under stroke and distance. The rules require the player whose ball is lost to pre proceed under stroke and distance. So the LPGA tour had said Hadoka's ball was eventually found after the search time expired. The rules require the player whose ball is lost to proceed under stroke and distance. They went on to say this is considered a serious breach of Rule 1417 with a penalty of disqualification if not corrected in time. The player had until she left the scoring area to correct the mistake for signing for that improper scorecard. So Jenny Shin, who had been the overnight leader, she's now trailing by one, put this out on Twitter or X. She said this is probably controversial. Nasa Hataoka getting DQ'd because someone thought it was 25 seconds over three minutes after the scorecard was signed should not be happening. Should someone be timing to prevent this? Maybe. However, if I heard correctly, there was a rules official who was present to help her take an unplayable and all players' caddies in the group did not mention anything to the official or even after the fact. This is probably costing her dearly for the Olympics coming up. Not ideal. So these are the Olympic standings that Jenny Shin was alluding to for... The Japanese women, Yuka Sasso, just won the U.S. Women's Open, is in that first spot. They would only have two spots because their second player is outside the top 15. So Nasa Hataoka currently in that second spot. These are tied to the world rankings. She's 19th in the world rankings. Why is this week so important? Well, she's disqualified. Why? Ayaka Futaway is currently top 10. So she may jump up in the world rankings. Not sure if she'll jump up far enough to catch Nasa Hataoka this week, but they only have two weeks left. So you never want to see a player disqualified. But Johnson, I mean, you've lived that life through the lens of a player. What's your read on the situation? Well, in that situation, it's just off the edge of the green. It's really hard to think that when you go up there and start searching that you need to start a clock. But with a three-minute uh, as opposed to a five-minute like it used to be before the 2019 rules changes, it is incumbent on the player or their caddy to start a clock or someone in the group. And the fact that this all could have been avoided had that happened. So I just think the lesson going forward is start a clock when you're on a search. This happened to a friend of mine at Pebble Beach earlier this year at Spyglass. It was really soft, ball plugged in the left rough. He hit a provisional uh, and they found the ball. But it was determined since he didn't start a clock that it was after three minutes and had to go and play his provisional ball. So it's that player told me that Anytime he starts a search, he's going to have his caddy start the clock, and I think this is a lesson you learn one time. Real quick, how often do people actually start clocks when they're searching? It's clock? hard. It doesn't happen enough, but I think since the rule changed to three minutes, it needs to start happening more, and the messaging needs to get out to the players from the officials and the tournament organizers that we're not going to be there when you start looking. By the time we get there, it's hard to determine how long you've been searching, so it is truly on the players to, to do this.